In this video, I'm going to go over how I put the threaded inserts into the blanks. So, it's so a bottle stopper blank here. I'm going to go ahead and drill down into it. These are the in threaded inserts. So, this is the brass one. It goes all the way through. So, these are used for doing like uh, pizza handles, ice cream scoops, things like that, where the tine on it is longer than the bottle stoppers. This one right here is made by Ruth Machinist. So it, it doesn't go through. So you can put glue out here to get it to stick better and it won't mess up the threads. These ones go all the way through. You gotta be a little careful when you put the glue on, you don't want it to come around and go back down into the threads. But if you're doing with a longer set screw on it, you wanna use this one. You just drill down in a little bit further to do that. So I'm gonna go ahead and install a stainless steel one. I have it marked here on my drill bit. The drill bit is 7 16 and I go down 7 8 of an inch. Give yourself a little bit of room you want for air compression, um, especially if you're using the, the brass one and you're going to go in and make a pizza handle where, where the threads come way out here. You need to drill down into it a little bit further, but I drill them and install them the same way other than, than the depth. So I'm going to turn the lay speed down. I'm going to just drill straight into it. I have it marked right there. up just a little bit lay it off and then I'll pull that out of the way so I use the 7 16 drill bit. It, she does carry one that's a little bit bigger and it, it gives you a little more room for the glue, but the inserts don't go in that tight. They just kind of fall in there. So it works good if you want to put a lot of glue in there, but these ones I actually press into it. So I put a little bit of glue on it, use the tailstock to press, in, press it in, and I'll show you that real quick. And it seems to work really well, especially you can do it with the drill press. I do it on the lathe. Normally, I have a batch of blanks over there. I do them all in the drill that hole with the drill press. It's just a lot faster. Then I bring them all over to the lathe and press them in. Let me get the live center switched real quick. So, I have a cone shaped live center like that. This is the one I use. If you don't have one like this, you can always take a regular live center and loosen up the the little point there and slide it out a little bit. And when you put these in, it won't go down, but it's really close. So if you have a cone shape like this, it, it just works better. Slide the tailstock up, back up, lock it down. As far as glue goes, I use Gorilla Glue. Get it back just a little bit further. And these inserts are made, as, like I said, by machinists in Missouri. This is all gnarled up so that it gets a nice good bite on it. They're not smooth, they're rough. And the brass ones too, they have some texture to them so the glue can get down in there. With these, I just put a little bit of Gorilla Glue on it, a couple little spots. Don't get carried away with it. Just like that. Put it right in there. Bring the tailstock up and it will center the whole thing up. And you just press it in. I go just a little bit further than the edge there. So that the point actually pushes it in there a little bit. Paper towel wipe it off and you're done. Let it sit up overnight and you're ready to go. So I do the same thing with the brass ones. Like I said, just if you're using those for pizza, pizza handles, just drill in a little bit further so you have plenty of room for the thread. But you do it the same way and then they just screw right on to the mandrel and you're ready to go. So I do a batch of these. I'll do, let's just say 10, drill them all out on the drill press, bring them over here, press them all in, then let them sit overnight and, and you can turn them. 
I hope that helped. If you have any other questions, just let me know. Um, I did a, a video on tapping the, the threads last week, I believe, and this is just the way I do it. So full disclosure, the video I showed where I was tapping the threads on it, that's the first time I've ever tapped one of these. I always do it this way. It's just a lot faster. Um, it's as far as if you're doing doing these for you know production work like craft shows and things like that you drill the hole stick it in there and and you're completely done so that you don't have to use the the tap this just goes a lot quicker and just let it let it sit up you can actually have batches of these running where you're still turning during the day when when these ones are glowing that's the way i found the easiest way to do it is the inserts all right, if you have any other questions, just let me know and I will do another video. All right, take care.